Alex is on his way to this pool hall. He knows that the members here frequently play cards for cash. He wants to get in on the action. Alex has worked his way into a game with this group of guys. Rag is a fast-paced game where money rapidly changes hands. Each player is dealt three cards, and they bet on how good they think their hand is. The betting continues until all the players have thrown in their hands apart from two. When one player calls, they both show their cards, and the highest hand wins. If a player doesn't look at his hand, it means he's playing blind. Blind. And everybody else has to put double the money into the pot. Throughout the evening, plenty of cash changes hands. And Alex gets more than his fair share. But it's not down to look, it's for sling. Oh, sorry. Now, in Bragg, you get three cards at a time. You have the option of playing blind. So you have the option of not looking at your hand and betting. This is an extremely strong position because every time you bet blind, everybody else has to pay double the money. Now, if you know what cards you're holding, you can wipe out everybody on the table. So how do we do that? Well, we mark the cards during play. Now, we mark three at a time, but in the course of the evening, you'll pretty much get around to marking the whole deck. All I'm doing for marking is I'm marking them so I can see them when they're face down. So I'm gonna put a little nail neck on the back of the card. So an ace, I'm gonna mark right at the top corner. So I'll mark them ace, king, queen, jack, ten, and so forth. So I'm gonna put that little nail neck just there, just up at the top. Now, it's quite subtle, and it's designed so that I can see it when all the cards are face down. If I see three identical marks, that means I've got three of a kind. That means I can bet blind, and I can be pretty sure that I'm gonna beat everybody else on the table. So using this card marking technique, even if he's playing blind, he knows exactly what his hand is. Oh, too. They've been playing for an hour, and suddenly things get very interesting. Everybody yeah, thinks see. they've got a great oh, hand. So the the bat, bat. Bat. They keep adding to the pot. Let's do one more. The kitty grows rapid, yeah. and the coins yeah. become yeah. dumb. Yeah. Yeah. The psyche. What started out as a game for a few pounds is turning into a game worth considerably more. <laughs> Nobody is willing to back down, and the pot continues to grow, along with the tension. Somebody's got to drop out. The kitty now stands at over 200 pounds, and a couple of the players have dropped out of the game. It's now between Alex and the player on his right. Alex reveals his cards first. He's got a good hand. Good catch. But can the other player beat it? Oh. No. <laughs> yeah. Alex, Alex rakes in the cash. That's over 200 pounds for just two hours' work. But how could he be sure he had the winning hand? 